Good morning, everyone. Uh, up early this morning, just woke up, couldn't sleep, so I went and got up, decided to come out here to the fur shed. Got uh, one more beaver left here. Uh, I'm fixing to scrape and put up from yesterday. Um, and then the last uh, two that we caught there, uh, one of them yesterday and then one from the day before got put up. But anyway, let me get started. All right, guys, I figured since I'm right here uh, scraping this beaver, I'd just show you guys how I do that. I just got to keep an apron on. I've got this PVC uh, pipe, and all I do, guys, is I take that beaver hide after it's over, and I just lay it right on top of that PVC hide. I take the nose, and I hook the nose around the point that holds that hide on there. Now guys, my beam is really squeaky and it's time to get a new one built. I just hadn't made the time to do it. So I'm gonna turn the volume down on this and uh, maybe see about adding some music or something just for a little bit, let you guys see what I do. Uh, once I get down to that point, it's a little bit farther than I reach, I'll just take that hide and pull the whole thing up, lay it back over that point, and I'll stick that point right here into my, uh, what you call this area it's above your belly but below your chest it's kind of right there in your chest and i push against that pipe with my body and that holds that holds that fur on there tight anyway guys i'm gonna i'm gonna get with it and record a little bit of this add it to the video this morning and uh yeah so this is what i do Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe 
There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness guys we got that hide cleaned off all the meat fat membrane off of these little pieces I'll show you what I do I don't worry with them too much now show you what I do here in a minute well now guys all it is is uh, taking these hog greens that we got and guys if you're interested in this go if you're on Facebook go look at uh, my Facebook profile I've done a, uh, a live while I was out here ringing one of these beaver so if that's something you're interested in go check out that live on Facebook. And guys, I'm just going to go around this entire edge of this beaver, except for the head and tail, and I'm going to place these these hog rings in here. That's going to allow us to uh, to put it on a metal hoop here in a minute to get it to get it to dry. On. But just all the way around, about every I don't know every two inches or so, I'm just going to go in here and put one of these one of these hog rings in the edge of this beaver. From the front shoulder area all the way down to the back hem area, and I'm gonna leave the head and the tail open, and uh, that's gonna allow me to do a little bit of trimming. Uh, once I get that thing on the hoop, I can uh, trim a little bit of that fat and gristle and stuff that's left along the edges like this. I don't worry about it too much because I can trim it up here in a minute pretty easy. All right, got that side done. We'll move over here to this side. Same thing, guys. Just come if you look at that nose, you'll see where that gum and all that fat and stuff stuffs out along that edge. Just start right below it, just right about that front shoulder area, and. Uh, Work your way down every two inches or so.
all the way down to this tail guys if you'll see that tail you got a little corner there where you cut around the vent whenever we were skinning it there's gonna go just right down right above that little corner and that's where we're gonna start trimming here in a minute when we get it on the hoop well there we go we got all of our rings in now all we need is a hoop We're just going to kind of adjust this thing to about the size we think we need it. We're just going to take and start, start attaching those uh, hog rings to this ring and uh, we'll start getting this hide stretched out here. All right, we got it a little bit loose. I'm just gonna tighten that hoop to adjust it to where I need it. It's gonna be about right in there. <coughs> All right, guys. now I grab the chair and I use the edge of my table here to hang, to be able to hang that hoop and that hide off the edge of that table and that allows me room to make my cuts. So all I'm gonna do is come in here, right about where that, that jaw line starts, I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna trim that jaw, nose area between the eyes and just continue that cut all the way around to this other jaw Grist on fat area. Just trim that up there. All right. And while we're here, we're just going to go ahead and continue. Now that we got that trim, we're just going to continue with our hog rings every couple of inches. Now we're going to flip that thing around do the same thing on this tail area. We're just going to come in here about, you can see it kind of makes a little triangle there where we cut around that tail and cut that tail off. We're just going to cut from, from there. Same thing, just one continuous cut. Take that triangle off right down the edge of that tail where some of that fat and gristles left on the end of it. Straighten that tail up from us cutting the tail off of it. All the way over here to this other side. There we go, guys. So we've got that tail area trimmed up now. Now we're just going to add the hog rings to it.
Alright, so now we've got that thing. It's not going to come off that hoop. And we can just continue going around the edge of it. Any little bit of fat and stuff that's left along the edge or any edge that needs to be straightened up, we're just going to take our knife and trim that off. And we're just going to continue putting those hog rings in there, guys, about every... I'll do it depending on the size of the hide or if the, if the hide's all chewed up, I may not put as many. But about every every inch, three quarter of an inch, half an inch, whatever you prefer, just uh, go all the way around this thing one more time, putting those rings in it. Guys, I won't bore you with me going all the way around this thing, but uh, once I get all the way around it, get my rings in it, I'll show it to you again, and um, and we'll show you how we close those leg holes up, and then get it cleaned up and uh, ready to start drying. All right, guys. So we've made our way all the way around that beaver, about every three quarters of an inch or so. Now we got to close up these leg holes. All I'm going to do is come out here. You can tell a little bit of fat. Uh, the edges of this foothold is really rough. So we're just going to come out here right at the edge of that fat and gristle. And we're going to cut that leg hole out. Just like that. Now all I'm going to do, guys, is take my hog rings that I got right here in my hand. I'm working with anyway. I don't have to get up, grab anything else or change position. I'm going to come right here to the inside of this leg. Now this is a back leg. I'm going to put three hog rings on the inside of that leg hole. One on each edge, one in, one in the center. Guys, just like that. Hopefully you can see them there. Three hog rings. Now I'm going to do is come underneath that hive. You know, I've got it hanging off the edge of the table where I can work with it. I'm going to attach another hog ring to that first hog ring, and I'm going to pull that hide over to one of these rings on the edge, and I'm going to attach it, and that's going to close that leg hole up. I'm going to do the same thing on these other two hog rings. Just stretch it tight over here to the edge. And there we go, guys. We've closed that leg hole completely off. Let's spin it around, do the same thing on this one. There we go, guys. Both of those back leg holes are closed up and ready to dry. We'll spin it on around here to this front leg, guys. All I do on it is I'll push up from the bottom, grab a hold of it, I'll take my knife and I'll cut that, that fat and gristle that's left on that leg off. On these front holes, I'll use two hog rings. Just put one, one on each corner. Do the same thing. Just reach under, attach another hog ring to it, and pull it out here to this edge. And just stretch that, stretch that hole tight, and close it up. There we go. All right, now we're here to the ears, guys. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut that ear cartilage out. It's just going to be. One less thing that could possibly go bad on this side, both ears. And then right 
right on around here to this last leg, pull it up tight, cut the edge of it off. Attach two rings to the inside skin. Now we're just going to do the same thing. Just pull it tight over here to the edge. Close that leg hole up. Alright guys, this side's almost finished. All we got left, I keep a little scraper here. I can scrape all that fat skin, anything that's left on that hide. Scrape it towards the head. There we go. I got a little bit of flappy skin right here. Guys, I'm just going to pull that out, take my knife. Trim that, trim that little bit of fat and gristle off right there. And there we go, guys. Now this metal ring that I got two different styles, this metal ring holds its shape in an oval. That beaver's... Yeah, we'll go ahead and tie a string to show you guys what I do. So I've just got a... I keep a, some uh, rope right here, guys. And I just, I just tie me a loop in one end and a knot in the other end. And guys, what I'm gonna do is come right in here between, about halfway between these leg holes. And I'm gonna run that rope on both sides of that hoop. I'll bring it back to itself. And all we're doing, guys, is changing the shape from a round more to an oval. A lot of your buyers want your beaver in, a, in an oval shape. So that's all we're doing with this. We'll, we'll use that hitch knot and we'll pull that tight, pull it into an oval shape wherever we want. And then we'll just tie that, tie that rope off to itself so it'll hold that form. That's it, guys. So the only thing left now is to turn around here, hang it up on the wall. I'm just going to take this one here is dried. We're going to lay it down here. I'm going to take it off of this hoop and we're just going to replace it. Replace it with this one we, we just got finished and want to get dry. I like to hang it tail up, guys. Sometimes when you pull those hoops, it'll, uh, it'll pull some of those hog rings off, just attach them back. All I'm going to do is take it up here and hang it on the nail on the wall and uh, let that fan dry it out. Three, two, three, four days time, that hide will be dried and we can, uh, we can take it off the hoop. There we go, guys. All I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one off. I'm just going to untie it. Loosen the ring, guys. Get all the hog rings out of it, and then I'll show you guys show you guys how I finish it and, and get it stacked up and stored. All right, guys. We've got this ring loosened up. All we're gonna do is come in here, take it off of that hoop, and we'll start taking them hog rings out. All I do, guys, the sides are real easy, the sides and belly. Sometimes as you get around to uh, to the tail and the head area, those things will kind of be stiff and hard to get out of there. Uh, what I like to do is just, if I got one that's tough, just, just grab it and start shaking your hand and it'll work that point out of that area fairly easy. The more you do, the more you'll get comfortable with and it'll be easier to do, guys. Don't forget your the ones that are on your uh, leg holes, pulling that flat tight. Be sure to get those off there. I'm just gonna work my way around this hide, guys, pulling all these hog rings back out of it. And, uh, and then we're gonna clean it up just a little bit more and uh, get it put in our stack for storage until we get ready to sell. All right, guys, so we got all those all those hoops out of there. Uh, as you're doing it, you'll notice if you've got any uh, 
any pieces of meat stuck to it or any fat that's still on it. This one's really good, guys. There's a little bit of fat right here on the tail area that we didn't get scraped off. All I'll do is I'll come in here at this point, I'll use my knife, like a fillet knife, push that knife flat down on that edge of that, put apply some pressure and just come come right through that little piece of fat. Here it'll trim that little piece of fat off, guys. Just anywhere, if you got it on the side, there's a just tad pit up here in this jaw area, but that's gonna dry a little bit more, no big deal. Now all that's left, guys, just flip that thing over. Guys, I'll take a little dog brush, just a dog grooming comb. I'll start at the tail and I'll brush all that fur up toward the head, stand it up. It'll get any pieces of dried meat or any little bit of dirt that's still on that hide. And this one, this one not, right here is a little piece of dried meat on here. Guys, don't grab it and jerk, just grab it and shake. That's gonna, gonna pull that off there. Get all that hair standing up, guys. I'll take and just shake that hide, shake some of that, some of that dirt and debris off of there. And I'll turn it back around and I'll lay those hairs back down. I'll brush it one more time, brushing it from the head to the tail. There we go, guys. We've got that hide pretty well cleaned up. Uh, one more thing, I'm thinking about it. Some of your bigger beaver, you'll get, uh, when you pull those leg holes tight over their self, sometimes you'll have a little bit of undried skin in the creases of those uh, leg holes. Just get you some, I keep some borax on hand. Just take you some borax, grab you a little bit of borax, if, and just rub it on the area of those legs where that's, where that's not completely dried and that borax will help dry that hide the rest of the way. And that's it guys. So all, all I do now, all I do now guys, I keep a stack of beaver over here on this table and I'll just bring this hide and uh, you want to be sure to stack it. When you, when you stack them up, you want to be sure to stack them hair to hair, skin to skin hair to hair, skin to skin. Guys, that'll prevent that'll prevent a lot of your molding. So there are one on top there, skin up. So we're just gonna put this one skin down on it. Then the next one we'll put hair down on top of this one. And that's it guys. 